I gotta start this off by saying I am Killmonger. No, you're not. <laughs> Your name's not Eric. I'm Eric Killmonger. Damn hey, it. it has to be one of the best villains that Marvel has came out with. A lot, a lot of people, a lot of people have said that. It has to be. I mean, the most convincing. The rest, I mean, there's a lot. There's like, what kind of threat did they really pose to the hero of whatever movie? All the other movies, you know, like a lot of them didn't pose that much of a threat. And if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Black Panther. That's right, y'all. We went to, we finally went to go see Black Panther this past week. I know we're late as fuck, but better late than never, right? Better late than never, and at the same time, we had a little bit more breathing room, and it still was crowded, though. It was still crowded, uh, because that that showing before was pretty crowded. Didn't didn't even get to see then, but the next showing was was pretty. uh, It had had a couple of options, all right. But um, what do you think of this movie, man? Movie was good. I liked it. I really liked the movie. Still wasn't great. There was like seeing what the actual comic was kind of how the comic goes. Because I mean, I'm not really, I don't know a lot about it, so I just was looking up on it, and they did change a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, they did. They changed. I've read some. Not even a a relative to him in like the comic. Right, 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 right. right. And that whole white wolf uh, is like a whole other character that they don't. We're not sure if they're like doing an Easter egg by saying that or if they're. Saying that he may come at a, at some point, right? Because he is someone who left and then comes back later, you know, kind of stuff. So. Well, I mean, the movies have definitely changed a lot of yeah. with all the, all the Marvel, all, all the I said Marvel, all the all the Marvel, uh, Marvel shit. universe, Mar- <laughs> the Marvel universe. <laughs> now all that shit's been changed up, man. So, yeah. um, I mean, this is this just too much to try to put into. Yeah. A make, two hour movie yeah. It's just Im- impossible to do it. Yeah Especially when they're Combining different storylines So they can make yeah. a universe you know? Or sometimes They'll take characters And They'll Like Let's say they got like Three or four characters In the comic mm-hmm. They'll combine them Into one One character, one yeah, character exactly. Or two they'll characters give them Their storyline A little bit Just to right. give And they kind of give Like a new storyline yeah. You know what I mean they'll do, they'll give some do. of that to the, to, the, to, the, to the fans Because they can't give everything so they Yeah can, they can't And, so and so you kind of want to Make something new too You know You kind of want to Give people like a new Story a new thing or whatever, but um, the reason I start off by saying, well, first of all, the Black Panther soundtrack sounds way better now. Yeah, it does. After it watching the movie, it kind of it makes it kinda, sense. Like a lot of it kind of flows better. Like you understand it better, you know? right? Like the King's Dead, yeah, song makes way more sense now. Oh yeah, uh, dope ass. Yeah, the concept of the Black Panther soundtrack sounds way better. If y'all want to check out the review, just you know, go into the description or in the show notes, and we'll link up the review that we did for the Black Panther soundtrack. But I, I, I got to touch on something, man. Hmm. <clears throat> go ahead. I got to give a hot take. Uh, I'm giving a hot take. Hot on take. This. Hot take. Hot take. Oh my goodness. Eric Killmonger wasn't the villain. <laughs> Still don't feel like he was the villain. Nah, you know what? He wasn't I, the villain. Oh, I know, and I see where you're going with this because I, I, I see. Black Panther going. was the villain. Yeah, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? Really, I mean, put yourself in Eric Killmonger's shoes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really think about this. Yeah, you have right? to. Right? Yeah. Uh, the man's father was killed. Mm-hmm. He's out there just shooting some hope with his friends. Little kid. You know what I'm saying? And he sees a UFO fly away. After his dad, like, right after his dad, right, his dad dies, he's a UFO. What the fuck? Well, he goes up, yeah, he goes up there to find out that his yeah. dad's dead. His dad's, dad's dead, dead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, not, that, not only that... <laughs> Uh, when he came in to the throne, everybody called him an outsider. He's not really an outsider. He's blood. No. Okay. He's His dad a- gave him the knowledge, obviously, before he passed away. Still, as a little kid, he knew he had knowledge about it. Right. Know so he knew who he was. Right. He knew that. He knew, he knew that wasn't was. really a UFO. He knew where it came from. Yeah. He knew he what was going knew on. It was a matter of time before right. he was going to make his move. He had to grow up. That's why he did all that shit, joined the military, all that stuff. Right. You know. He and he was the best of the best. They're saying. So, top, top dog. So that's why then he's ready. He uh he beat <laughs> he beat T'Challa. He didn't just beat him. Fair and square. Yeah, he, he really he he kinda embarrassed him saying like, This is your king. Right. This is your black panther. This right. is protecting you kinda. This yeah. is it. Threw, threw his threw his Man. bitch as the spoilers, y'all. He threw his bitch ass off the motherfucking off the fucking I think we've been spoiling shit. already. All right. But- <laughs> All right. Uh yeah. uh and you know somebody was like well because I kind of had this argument already somebody was like well what about when he burned all of the um, all of the uh, the heart uh, yeah, the herbs plant, or whatever yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying uh, cause power it, of the black panther I mean you know what I'm saying hey new king 
New King. New, new King's rules. in charge. New rules. Like when I was like, but but but, cause see, this is what pissed me off about the whole shit. She just lived her. <laughs> hey, she's a get, hey insubordination. Said, I tell you to do That's something. That's what I'm saying. You do it. You know what pissed me off about this whole shit? This motherfucker won fair and square. Yeah, he did. And yeah. everybody was like against him. But the old king, and it's like, bitch, fuck all that. Like, I just, I'm the king now. The king, yeah. Fair and square. Fair and square. Yeah, the challenge. I challenged him. Y'all said I, he I have a right to do it. He accepted. He I got his ass him. whooped. <laughs> I'm the new king now. Mm-hmm. You may not like what I'm doing. You can get the fuck out the kingdom. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But but they, they, they just didn't like where he was going with it. Where was the he world, going? The world, the weapons, so they can fight back and this everyone is, can throw. But the thing is, you'd cause chaos. But here's the world, though. Here's but, the thing, though. Here's the thing about all that. What he was thinking? No, no. This is what he was. This is no. He wasn't causing chaos because you know what? These motherfuckers killed his ass, and then they went and did the shit that him and his dad was trying to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're exactly. opening the world still, to everybody. Eventually, they no, still fuck. did it. Yeah, they did. But see, they're doing it in a probably a better way that he would have. Fuck been. that. He, he was trying to he, just do okay. it to anyone to overthrow any power, and then they would probably end up becoming the same way that those people were. Like, well, now I'm in charge, and I got weapons. And then, okay, so. we'll, we'll we'll say that. Let's say they were doing it better. Why couldn't nobody just talk to these people? Yeah. Why couldn't nobody just talk to him and his dad? Like, why everybody got to be like, oh, you betrayed well, the whole it, shit? It, the, we gotta we got we gotta take you the out. Biggest problem, the, the, the biggest fuck up in the whole movie is that his dad didn't take. Him, you know, Eric home back to kind of after it was done, and you know, kind of explain the ways, and maybe even uh, he maybe understand his that his dad was a piece of shit. On that note, yeah, that's Your why fucking that's nephew. what the child of fucking said the way he said he's like you were wrong, like yo, and all the like the old elders, you know, the ones. That's that, what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why yeah. I don't mind him I didn't, cutting yeah. all the elders out, with burning all the shit to take them no. to the ancestral plane because the ancestral plane is full of fucking assholes. Frauds. Yeah, you see what I'm trying yeah, to say? Lies. So Thanks fuck to, them. Yeah, hi, yeah, secrets and shit. Yeah. Who did? What did Eric oh, yeah. Killmonger do wrong? Well, yeah, yeah. See, if it, the thing is, if him and his cousin would actually been able to really talk and really, or even grow up with each other a little bit, they could have really held it down as like king and warlord. You know what I'm saying? First in command. It would have been a different story. Thing is, he had a lot of anger because he didn't know. And then T'Challa had not, he had no knowledge of it until it was too late. Also, you know, mm-hmm. so it just ended up he had to do what he had to do. You yeah, but t- the child was trying to take him out, though. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to hear him out. Well, he didn't because because old dude was just he, he had he didn't want to hear any of the things they had to say because he had so much anger and hate. Kind of like Michonne said, <laughs> yeah, her name, but yeah, you know. She fucking said she was like your, your, your heart's full of too much hate. You know you're not fit to be a king because he was already he was kind of too far gone. He would have been fit to be a king if he would have been. She was a fucking hate tour. Oh, yeah. You okay. Just, she just, was a hate tour. A, you, you think that? Yeah. Yeah. She was kind of real for a second. She was like, hey, my allegiance well, yeah, to, to the, the throne, king, yeah, to the king, but then to the she country. Saw what he was doing. He was doing it recklessly. That's the problem. What was he doing recklessly? He was just trying to ship out everything to everyone without. It's time to take over. To start war chaos. That's what he said. Not war the, chaos. He even said he was trying. He hood, was like the world is gonna start over. I'll start over. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's gonna be a lot of genocide. That's what's wrong. No, it's gonna be a lot of listen. Like That's he said, lot. he's been seeing his people. Yeah, I, and I understand be, that. What he said, two billion people yeah, struggling on this planet yeah. for years without well, Wakanda. And, and so now, yeah, they could have, and they could have, they could have been did some shit, right? Now. So now he's like, nah, we're gonna fuck everybody that did us like shit. We're gonna take over, and we're gonna be the man. What's what wrong saying. with that? I see what you're saying, and I get it, and I and I see what you're saying that he's not really a villain. I know what you mean. He's not a villain. I just, T'Challa is the fucking no, villain. T'Challa's not the villain. Okay, His dad was the villain. T'Challa is just like a, he's just stuck in the middle. Like he's stuck between a rock and a hard spot. That's what T'Challa was. Because he's like, fuck, like it's my cousin. I don't want to. I don't want to have to kill him. That's why you're even out there. It's like, hey, you know, we can actually keep you alive. But you're like, but wait, in prison. Like you know, saying shackles, like locked up, like nah. And then he said that realist he line. Rock- he did he say that realist line. The whole fucking because he ain't rocking with these whole ass people. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I'm just saying. When you really, I'll just know, say it like this. Okay? I know what you mean. If you redid I see the, the title movie, of this segment already. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you redid the movie, yeah. and you replaced hero and uh, oh, yeah. and, and villain mm-hmm. with with them, this could actually be done. You can actually tell a story from Eric Kilmarm's point of view. Yeah, you could. And show how, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's he really had the n- right to it. 
He kind of did, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right to the challenge, you know what I'm saying? At least because obviously, and the, the king's son, father's death. The king's son obviously would be the first, the next one line, not his cousin. You know what I'm saying? Because the brother of the king was still the younger brother, so that's why he wasn't the king. Right. That's why he was in, in in Oakland. You know right. what I'm saying? And so T'Challa would have been already, no matter what the next king, but he would have definitely still had his chance to challenge if he wanted to. But if they would have grew up in different circumstances where he wouldn't have been with so much hate, they could have grew up, they grew up together. If he would have took him in after that shit happened with that and just maybe kept that still a secret and just raise him a different way, you know, still there with them and just say something happened, whatever, uh, then he could have, he probably would have came up different, probably just been first in command and been cool with him being the king or whatever, you know, he may have not challenged. But either way, I mean, that still would have been shitty because he would have still kept the secret of what happened to his dad. Right. If he right. ever found out, then it's still all good shit. If they would have been straight up as a kid, he still would have had hate. He still would have been mad. No. You know what I'm saying? So he would have been, forgave them. Oh, my dad was selling things. Oh, okay. Whatever you say, uncle. <laughs> nah. nah, I don't think they, I don't think he would have forgiven him, but I don't think he would have been hell bent on taking it all back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, because. He would have had a little more respect, I guess, for their traditions and shit. Yeah, it's almost like he didn't cast it out mm-hmm. of his home. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, because they never did get him and never brought him back or nothing, yeah. Right. His dad wasn't cast it out. He was just over there as like a, you know, spy to the world kind of like. Of course, of course. So, but he could have went back, but then he was doing shit on the side that they weren't supposed to, like selling things to people. Yeah, selling you know? vibranium, getting, yeah. getting the people, getting the people. Now, uh, I, all in all, though, it was a, it was a good movie. Yeah, you know what I'm, saying? I'm I'm probably gonna see it again. I'm I do want to see it again. I, I, do. I think that they've become the fastest movie or the highest grossing movie in domestic in one week or two or something like that. They beat out Avengers, which was the last. Avengers is now number two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't doubt uh, it, man. it's definitely gonna reach a billion. Long live, <laughs> long live the king. <laughs> <laughs> King T'Challa. Right, right, right. Uh, I gotta say, I like, I like, I like. Uh, I call her Michonne too, but I know that's not her name. Yeah, I liked her, her, her scenes. I thought she was a beast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I like what she did. I thought it was funny. How she, yeah. her fight scenes were the best fight scenes in the movie. Yeah, of course. Yeah, better than Black Panther. Yeah, better than Black Panther. That's and another thing too. Eric Killmonger. So I mean, that, that was yeah, a little. I mean, they just fought. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it was, it was, I guess, refreshing to see two people fight without powers. You know, they're actually fighting. You know, right. in a sense, well, like when it's a superhero movie. Do, well, then when they were fighting at the end, then it was. I didn't power. really like it too much because it was like complete CG. It was, yeah, I was gonna say it's a little you too CG, and you could tell. Yeah, it was a little too too CG. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's Marvel not, likes to knock DC about that. Right. And it's like that shit was like hella CG. Hella Every CG. aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. It was a complete tell, CG. Too. It's not like you were like that looked real. No, you're yeah. like that's CG. Yeah, like. When I watched Spider Man, uh, the one with Tobey Maguire, yeah, or even the newer one with the uh, other that guy, other guy, I forgot his name, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Garfield, yeah, you're right, yeah. Andrew Garfield. Yeah. They, I can tell they were in Spider Man costumes at certain points. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, there was even a scene where like he was actually swinging through the city yeah. at one point. Uh, Andrew Garfield, like mm-hmm. they had him swinging up and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dangerous, yes, but. It was real. With this, it was it was a lot. It was too much CG. Mm-hmm. I didn't really feel like they were in the suits at times. It, it actually reminded me of Halle Berry's Catwoman CG. Oh, shit. Like when they're jumping off walls real quick, right. and making that quick move. It was like, <laughs> wow, that was like that was not done well. Funny thing, that's funny you said that. I was watching. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Matrix clips. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, Matrix and Kill Bill. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of the just stuff on YouTube, and it's been kind of. You know, the algorithm starts showing me more. Yeah. And uh, I'm watching the scene where Neo is in Matrix Reloaded where he's fighting all the Agent oh Smiths. Oh, my gosh. Right? <laughs> and, uh, of course, it was like a fun scene or whatever. But when I look back, but when I'm looking at now, the CG the was, was so trash. Yes. You know what I'm saying? At the time period, it was decent. Yeah. But now I look back at it. You didn't have nothing it, better at it than that. Right. So you're looking like, that looks good. Yeah. They did a good job of, of blending real with the CG. Yeah, they did. Like, they how they yeah, cut the see. scenes and stuff. It was actually pretty good how they cut the scenes, but... The CG was just it was just it was just horrible. trash. That's kind of what it reminded me of when I watched Black like, Panther when they were fighting at the end. Yeah, same kind of aspect. And at the beginning, the beginning was slow. It was kind of slow. 
It was slow in the slow beginning because I wanted shit to pop off. Yeah, it was slow and then dark. Like yeah. you're saying, that one scene was like really dark where you did the first but fight. But fighting yeah, in the. Uh, yeah. It was, it was well, yeah, it was. And it was dark. like that in the trailer. I was thinking, I wonder if it's going to like, are they going to lighten that up? Because in the trailer, I thought the same thing. I was like, I can't see shit when I've seen that scene. Right, you really couldn't see shit. I still couldn't see it in the movie theater, even yeah. in the theater. Yeah. Um, it should have had a little light. That was the kind of his like intro fight scene, too, yeah. so. You know. All you see is people flying here and there, so just like yeah, but you just see shadows and shit. And stuff. Yeah, it's like did he uh, kick him in his balls or? It's like I kind of wanted to see a little more clear so I could see it. You know, I know I understand he's supposed to be stealthy, it's dark, and you don't see what's happening. I guess yeah, that's why they can't see him. But you're supposed to let us see what's happening. There's a four hour director's cut out there. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. you think that's coming out? Uh, probably because at this point it's it's, it's popping so, so popular, hard. So that they may just do yeah, it. they might do it. Yeah. They may actually do it like a few months after they release their like regular ones just so they can all resell it again. Right. Make even more cash. Right. I think everybody should go watch the movie if you haven't seen the movie. Hell yeah. Uh, I movie. like some Listen of the themes the that's going in there. Listen to the soundtrack too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, good movie. Good story. Yeah. Good, props, to, props to Marvel. Yeah, props to Marvel and director uh, Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler. That's right, yeah.